Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Jason for Skill Tech, and today I'm going to show you what it took me having to do in order to get my WD TV Live to network with Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit version. This thing was giving me a pain for three days, and the reason I upgraded was because, of course, it has network capabilities. You can stream uh, just about anything to the thing from uh, either a network share, a uh, media server, and um, it definitely beats having to grab your removable hard drive or flash drive and drag it back and forth between your TV and your computer, dumping those ISOs, those MKVs, those MPEGs, AVIs, whatever it was that you're throwing at this thing. Uh, by the way, it can handle all that stuff. The, uh, the big difference that I liked also besides networking with the WDTV Live as opposed to the WDTV is that the WDTV Live has uh, DTS support over the HDMI output. The WDTV does not. So that was a big thing. If you were using Blu-rays or MKVs, any kind of HD, you were having to convert the DTS on 9 out of 10 of your, your, uh, your RIPs to, uh, to AC3 in order for it to play. This baby right here, it doesn't, it doesn't have to have that happen. So uh, big thing for that. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you, at least for me, what it took to get this thing working on the network share, uh, what it took to, uh, to actually set it up. So Again, I'm using Windows uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit uh, version. I'm going to go to Network and Sharing Center here. Now, one thing I've noticed, and I'm going to go slow here, so bear with me, guys, who know how to do this stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you what I had to do. So from the basics, you're going to choose your network right here. You're going to make sure that it's a home network. Home network is what you want it set to. What I'm going to show you here is how to go straight to advanced sharing. So usually you go through here, set up a home group and all that. That's just, that's crap. So uh, sh uh, advanced sharing and settings here. You can expand this. Now this is home or network advanced sharing settings. Okay, what what you see here are the settings that I have on my Windows, 60, Windows 7 64-bit system in order to get this to work with WD TV Live. So reading them down here, and I know you had to read, but reading them down here, network discovery is turned on. File and printing sharing is turned on. Public folder sharing is turned off. That's one big thing that I had on. Media streaming, I had that on. Sounds like you're streaming media to the WDTV Live, right? Well, no, you're not actually doing that. You're allowing it to pull it off the, the media share. So uh, you, if you have this on, let's just say you did have it on, this is what it would look like. And you see I've got a couple things here. I stream it to my Xbox, you know, a couple other things, laptop. Uh, if you have this on, just click this. Click block all. Click OK. And then when you go back there, you'll see that media streaming is off, and then you'll have this box to turn it on again. So just make sure that is off. This is another thing that I saw, a couple things on the forums, that uh, possibly the uh, WDTV Live was not capable of using 128-bit encryption. That's crap. It can use it. You want to leave that enabled. This is another thing. People were getting prompted for account and username or username and password uh, information. Leave this off, that way it won't prompt you. And right here, this is another big thing. You do not want to go with this recommended setting. You want to use user accounts and passwords to connect to other computers. What this is going to do is it's going to allow it to use the guest account. And no, if you're asking, uh, you do not have to go into user uh, accounts and enable the guest account. That was one of the things that I tried that did not work. Uh, I, like I said, people, I was at the end of my rope here. But anyway, so those are the settings right there that you have to have in advanced sharing settings to get this thing to work. Now, once you got that enabled, we're going to go to, I'm going to show you how to actually enable a share. Okay, so as you can see over here, my shares are enabled already to be used on uh, Windows Media Center, uh, which I, of course, have since I've got the ultimate version. Um, I have all of my media right here. I've got it broken up into categories. Music, of course, uh, Blu-ray, kids stuff, uh, movies, television. All right, we're going to make a new folder. We'll just call it Tutorial. Brand new folder. You may also notice that my my uh, media drive, which is a, uh, a MyBook one terabyte hard drive, is not shared. You don't need that thing shared. In fact, it's actually recommended or best practice to not share the root drive at the root level, which was redundant. But anyway, you know what I mean. Don't share the root drive. You want to share the, the actual folder that you're trying to share. So anyway, we're going to go to this tutorial folder. We're going to go to Properties. We are going to go to Security. 
Now, this is one thing that you may not have in here. Look at my structure here. I've got everyone. I've got everyone having full access. That is not necessary, but you know we can we can leave it there. Guest. I don't know what a guest is there. It's not, it doesn't have to be there. Administrators, you know, whatever. Okay, so we're going to go to advanced. We're going to go to change permissions. We are going to uncheck included inheritable permissions. See this warning right here? It asks if you sure you want to do this because if you remove it, you're going to remove inherited parent permissions from this object or all the objects under it. We're definitely going to want to remove. Boom. Nothing there anymore. It's going to tell you that the only thing that's going to be able to change this is the people who have ownership. Yes, we're fine with that. So the ownership is me. There I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here. Sorry, I need to close that. And I'm going to add everyone. Let's check the name. Hit OK. Now watch this. I'm going to give them transverse. I'm going to give them list, read, and read extension. I'm also going to give them read permissions. OK. Boom. Read and execute. I'm going to add administrators group. Administrators get all the access they want. And of course, I'm going to add myself because I want access to I'm the owner, but whatever. Looks nice. Okay, so we got that in there. We're going to hit OK. Okay, so that's fixed. Now, look at that. Everyone has read, execute, list, all that. They have everything they need to be able to look at that. You have access. You have access. Whatever. Sharing. This is not shared. We're going to advanced sharing, okay? We're going to share this folder. We're going to name it tutorial, if I can spell. And we're going to check permissions, of course. Everyone has read. That's all we need. That's all we want. Apply. OK. Close. Boom. Done. Now, with these settings, you will be able or should be able to see your network shares on your WD TV Live. Now, if the thing was on, you would want to go to it and turn it off go back in, go to video, go down to, let me turn mine on, make sure I'm telling you the exact thing you need to go to. going to go to video, you're going to go to media, I'm sorry, you're going to go to network shares, and then you're going to go to whatever your network share is name, which is most likely going to be the name of your PC, mine is bold 200, so we're going to click that. And then when it says connecting, you won't see a username and password field anymore. It'll say connecting. And then you will have all the lists of the folder shares you have there. And uh, right now I have one called tutorial. And I'll take a, a snapshot of that also so you guys can see that on my side. Uh, but that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, it took three days for me to get these settings. But now I'm able to browse my ISOs, my NKVs, my MPEGs, my AVIs, all my folders that I need uh, just by going in and enabling a share.